Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly our airplane to one side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now, can you stretch that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and we'll bring our circle back down. And now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. So before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's quickly turn on our listening ears. Next, we need to put on our thinking hats. Find your thinking hat and I'll look around for my thinking hat. Let's see, oh, my thinking hat is right over here. So I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me where your heart is? Right here, that's right. And we warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to get started with circle time. So behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. And the first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we say the date, we start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? May, that's right, the month is May. And today is May 12th. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 11th and today is May 12th, and right up here we have the year. Friends, there are two ways that you can say the year. Can you say one of the ways? 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Will you say the date with me one more time? Today is May 12th. 2021 or 2021. And now let's get our counting fingers ready and give them a little stretch to warm them up. Let's count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of May. We're going to start off at the top with the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. We have had 12 days so far in the month of May. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. So can you show me how many fingers we should hold up for the next song? Seven. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. It goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So that means that today is Wednesday, and tomorrow will be Thursday. But let's go back to today. Will you sing Today is Wednesday with me? It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Friends, I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart Right up here, we have the season. 
Do you know what the season is? Spring! It's springtime where I live. And guess what I saw outside this morning? This morning I was going outside to take a run and I saw a bird that was building a nest on the side of my house, right where the roof was. So it was using a lot of mud to hold it onto the top of the house right below the roof. And they also had sticks that they had used and some grass, but I mostly noticed mud. A bird was building a nest to lay its eggs during the springtime. We learned all about that a few weeks ago. Let's go back down to the bottom of the chart, friends. Right down here, we have a picture of the weather. So that means that it's time to sing our weather song together. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So the rain is falling where I live right now. This is a picture of a rainy day. The cloud is on the picture and the raindrops are falling. When I look outside, it's pretty dark and gray and there's a light rain falling. A light rain is called a drizzle. My temperature chart is on orange because it's still warm out today. We have been getting so much rain lately, especially during the month of May. Usually where I live, April is the rainy season, but it looks like this month has we have gotten even more rain than we had in the month of April. What about where you live, friends? Have you been getting a lot of rain? What's the weather like where you live today? Can you look outside your window and let me know? Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So this week we have been talking all about this letter. Can you make the letter sound for me? That's right. And now let's make that sound together. V, V. This is a lowercase V and V says V, V. So now it's time to move on to the mystery letter box. So what I have today is too big to fit inside of the box. So after I give you your clues, I'll just show you what it is. It's right up here in front of me. But listen carefully to your first clue. So this is something that starts with the letter V, V. This is an article of clothing that you usually wear over your shirt, except this article of clothing does not have any sleeves on it. So it just covers your body part and not your arms. Do you know what it is? Let's take a look. This is a vest. So as you can see, this vest would go over your shirt. But look at this, there are no sleeves. A vest is sleeveless and vest starts with the letter V, V. This is how you write a lowercase V, V. One more time. And now let's move on to the number of the week. Friends, do you remember what double digit number this is called? 23. And when you write the number 23, like all digit, double digit numbers, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Two. And what about this number? Three. Two, three. 23. Let me grab my piece of chalk. You can grab something to write with and together we can draw 23 tally marks. But if you don't want to do that, instead you can just count along with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 tally marks. And now, let's take a peek and see what we have to count today. I have these small rocks. Do you remember what these small rocks are called? Pebbles. And I have 23 of them. So, as we count them, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box and let's make two rows of 10 and then the extra pebbles will just go down at the bottom. Are you ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One row of ten. Let's start the second row with the number eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's the second row of 10, and we still have 21, 22, and 23. 23 pebbles. Now let's see, I'm going to look for the smallest pebble in the group. Here we go, here is the smallest pebble. And now I wanna find the opposite of the smallest pebble. So the opposite of the smallest pe pebble will be the largest pebble. And here is the largest pebble, the smallest and the largest. All together, we counted 23 pebbles. And now let's move on to the sign of the week. This week, I taught you how to say spider in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends. We take both of our hands and we put one hand on top of the other hand and wiggle our fingers back like this. Spider. Today we're going to learn about a small red beetle with little black polka dots. And some people believe that they bring good luck. Do you know what type of arthropod I'm talking about? A ladybug. Ladybugs are very helpful in the garden because they eat other small pests like aphids that would be unwelcome to farmers. Now underneath a ladybug's hard shell is a pair of wings, which appear in the final stage of their life cycle, just like a butterfly. But instead of traveling to warmer areas, ladybugs hibernate in the winter. Insect hibernation is called diapause. But not all ladybugs have a hard red shell with small black dots. Some species are orange or have stripes. For today's work, I have a ladybug that is missing its black polka dots. Will you help me find them? For today's work, you will need some Q-tips, a cardboard box, some black and red paint or markers, and a pair of scissors. This is a great activity from Chris over at Montessori Dad's Way. Chris also has a ton of really creative sensory bins so make sure that you head over and check out his content after this. So I started off by taking my cardboard box and I just drew a ladybug right here. I used some red paint for the body and then I used black markers for the head and the legs. And then I took a pair of scissors and I just poked some holes in it like this. So this part your grown up may have to help you with because it's using a pair of sharp scissors to poke holes. Now, earlier we talked about how not all ladybugs are black and red, and not all of them have spots. But this ladybug is black and red, and it's missing its black spots. So let's count how many holes we see right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. The ladybug is missing eight spots. So I took eight Q-tips and I cut off one side of the Q-tip right here. And on the other side, I just used a black marker and I colored the top of it. Let me show you how I did that. So I took my pair of scissors and I just cut off one end. So I have just one cotton swab that is left at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in. You can definitely help your grown-ups with this part, coloring the black spots. So we counted eight holes. That means that we should have eight Q-tips. Will you count with me, friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more makes eight. And now it's time to give the ladybug back its spots. This is a really great fine motor, motor activity because you're just going to take the Q-tip and fit it right inside of the hole like this. Oh look, it has one spot. Fit it inside of the hole, two spots, three spots, four spots, five, six, seven, one more, eight. The ladybug now has all of its spots. Thanks for helping me, friends. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.